In this video, I'm going to do an overview of AI apps inside of Canva and also show you how to create an AI avatar talking head for your designs. So the first thing you'll do is log into your Canva account and then we're going to go to create a design. So then I'm going to go scroll down. I'm going to type actually in the search bar, Instagram post. So I like the 1080 by 1080 square. And then we're going to go over to the left hand side. There are four boxes here. It says apps and we're going to click on apps. Now on the upper left side and these white bubbles, you can see all of the different kinds of apps there are. But the second bubble to the left, it says AI powered. And here you can see all of the AI apps that are inside of Canva. There are some really powerful tools here. So Heijin is an AI avatar creator. And I'm gonna dig into Heijin a little bit first. It probably has some free credits, but you're probably going to need to pay for a Heijin account to utilize the most optimum amount of videos you can create. So I've created my own avatar using Heijin, but I wanna to try to use one of the ones that are inside the app already. So let's see what kind of person that I like here. I'm gonna scroll down and let's see, they're all male and female. I'm gonna choose this lady in the red. Then we're gonna click the purple button that says use. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the full square. You can also use a circle. Let's see how they both look. I think I'm gonna go with the rectangle. So we need to add our script here. So what kind of script do we wanna add? I'm gonna say I want to create a tutorial on how to use Heijin's AI app inside Canva. So we're going to go to chat GPT and we're going to start a new chat. Say create, create a video script on how to use Heijin app inside of Canva. Okay, we're going to have this. So this has different scenes, but I don't really want to get into that right now. It has extraneous information that we don't need. Now I'm going to tell ChatGPT, please remove all extra details from the script. I want the script to me. Okay, so that should rem oh, it's still it needs it needs more information. Take out things like and I'm going to copy and paste the things I want to be removed in any quotation marks. Now, let's see if it's going to listen to me now. Okay, there we go. So this is if you want to create a video. And I'm also going to tell it, please remove the lines. That's two. It's giving me the output that I like now that's going to work. So if I was creating a video for YouTube or Facebook like that, I would want to maybe put our social media links, her logo, but I'm not going to do all of that for this demo. So we're going to copy that, go back to Canva, and we're going to paste that into the text section. Okay, so then you can choose your AI avatar voice. So let's listen to a couple of these. Here's Eric. Hello, this is how I sound. Hello, this is Man. how I sound. Hope you like it. Let's see all. We can listen to females. Hello, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. Okay, let's pick a British Hello, person. This is how I sound. Hope you like it. I like her. We're going to try that out. We're going to click the purple button that says use. Oh, we need to make sure and select the one that we like. Click the purple button for use. And we're going to also choose a background color. Let's, ooh, the red doesn't work very well. Let's choose a nice yellow that's really going to make her pop out. Ooh, look at that lime green. Let's go for that. That looks pretty sharp. So we're going to use, make sure you have the view mode selected. You can also use, bring your photos to life. And you can also go inside of Heijin and record your own AI avatar like I did here. 
and you can add those into your design as well. So maybe I want to go ahead and use mine. Okay, so we're not going to get to choose a background color. It has a background here already. Um, and I'm going to go to see all and I'm going to choose myself if I can find it. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and click. Hello, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. Beautiful. So I'm going to sound like myself. I'm going to click use and make sure you have it selected or it won't work. You can also choose from different locations, all of these different countries. You can also choose different languages. Look at all of these languages you can choose from. This is all inside Canva. But to get all of um, the Hagen benefits, you'll probably have to pay for an account with them. Let's go ahead and click Create Video. You can do this in Hagen as well, separately from Canva if you have an account. We can also listen to the script and see how it sounds. So it's generating the video. It's gonna take a little while before we can listen to it. So I'm gonna pause this video while this is loading. Today we're diving into how to use the HeyGen app right inside Canva. Let's make those graphics pop. Sounds first pretty good. First things first, let's get familiar. Okay, so this has created. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the purple button that says add to design. And this should be good to go. So I'm going to zoom that in so it fills in the entire square. I don't need it to be too big. There we go. That looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and listen and see what it sounds like. Hey there, Canva creators. Today we're diving into how to use the HeyGen app right inside Canva. Let's make those graphics pop. First things first, let's get familiar with HeyGen. It's an app within Canva that allows you head to the apps tab in the Canva sidebar, scroll through or use the search bar to locate HeyGen, click on it and you're in. Now let's explore what HeyGen can do from dynamic text animations to creative transitions and effects. This app is packed with tools to make your design stand out. Ready to animate? Select the element you want to jazz up, then choose your preferred animation from HeyGen. Adjust the timing and duration to suit your style. Once you've added your animations, hit the play button to preview your masterpiece. If everything looks good, finalize your design. You can download it as a video or share it directly from Canva. And that's a wrap. You've just learned how to bring your can. Okay, so that looks pretty great. So if you wanna save that, share it, you go to the right hand corner, click the share button, download that as an MP4 video. Now, if you want to add things to your design, you can. So you can add elements on the left-hand sidebar. You can add things like little graphics. But I'm just going to leave it plain for right now. You can go in and change the transparency. You can make it lighter, brighter. You can change the positions through these layers over here on the layers. You can drag and drop them. You can put the pop behind me. You can flip it upside down, sideways, flip vertical. There's all kinds of things that you can do inside Canva. You can have a border around it if you like. Oh, but I made it not a square, so that's not gonna look very good. You can look over here on the side. You can do animations. I wouldn't do that on this actually. Motion effects. So you can do a lot of different stuff with it. I do like the fade in that looks pretty good so you can do it on enter on exit you can have different photo movements which is pretty cool you can add some different motion effects if you want but I'm gonna go ahead and clear all the animations but I think that looks oh the stomp one looks pretty good so okay now you've got the basics of how to add an AI avatar inside Canva